Hi everyone and welcome to this week's Digital Marketing News Roundup. This week we have updates from Pinterest, Byte, Google and DuckDuckGo. Pinterest launch AR feature that lets users try on lipstick before purchasing. This new AR feature allows users to virtually try on different lipstick shades that can then save the pin for later or buy from the retailer's site. Brands in the initial rollout include Sephora, L'Oreal, NYX, Urban Decay and more. The feature is powered by Pinterest visual search technology Lens. Users can find it by searching for lipstick and selecting try on. From there, users can swipe through to try on different shades. Pinterest has a lot of authority in the makeup sector and this tool could be really successful for beauty brands who want to connect with consumers in interactive ways. The tool doesn't use any filtering or enhancements so users are seeing the most realistic version of the lipstick on themselves. Vine's successor Byte has launched. Byte is an app where users upload six second videos much like Vine. However, unlike Vine, users on the platform will likely have the option to monetize their content. The app is available to download for free in the App Store and upon its release it became the number one free app to download, pushing TikTok out of the top spot. With prospects to monetize videos and the easily digestible short videos on the platform, it is likely that the platform will become more popular with those who create short video content already and may launch a new breed of influencers. New removal tool for Google Search Console. Within Google Search Console, there's a new removal tool. The new tool has three main features. It lets you temporarily hide URLs from Google. It shows you your outdated content and which URLs were filtered by the Safe Search adult filter. To use the tool, look under the index menu and you should see a removal option. This new tool allows you to quickly see why your content may have been removed from search and to easily remove your own URLs from Google. This allows you more control over the visibility of your site and lets you take action on anything you believe may be an error. DuckDuckGo appeals to Google's EU search choice screen. Google have proposed a search choice screen for EU Android users, however DuckDuckGo have proposed a different version with more search engine choices and descriptions. In Google's proposed screen, DuckDuckGo is already an option. That is not an issue for them. They believe users should be provided with more information about the selection process and more details about the search engines listed. The proposed screen by Google appears to limit the amount of available search engines. For many who don't know that more exists, this could greatly limit their choice. Furthermore, DuckDuckGo's proposal allows users to make a more informed decision which allows users to have more autonomy in their choice. Standard delivery to be the only ad delivery method on display and more on Google. Google announced last year that standard delivery will be the only ad delivery method for search and shopping campaigns and shared budgets. Following this, Google have announced standard delivery will be the only ad delivery method for new display, video, app and hotel campaigns from April. From May, all existing display, video, app and hotel campaigns will automatically switch to standard delivery. Accelerated delivery will soon be no longer available. Standard delivery should in theory result in better performance and results than accelerated delivery, therefore this change should be beneficial. Additionally, if you want ads to be delivered at certain points of the day, you can use ad scheduling. Thanks for watching everyone. If you want to stay up to date with the latest news, then follow us on our social. Go to the video page on our website or sign up for a newsletter, which you can do on our website.